Hey everyone, it's Always Improving here, and today I'm going to be creating two pieces of artwork. One of which is going to be a continuous contour line, and the other one is going to be a positive and negative painting, which is basically just a silhouette of someone or something. Um, both of these pieces are requirements for my Art One portfolio, which um, I'm, I'm trying to get into Art Two next year, so I don't want to have to take Art One. So if I submit this portfolio of specific pieces, I'll be able to take Art Two next year. Uh, again, I'm going to be doing a continuous contour line, which is basically just w like what it sounds like, an outline of all of the details in a picture. Um, I'm going to be doing a face for that one and one continuous line, just going to be one, one go. And then the other one is a positive and negative painting where I'm going to be doing an outline or a silhouette of someone. And I've thought about this a lot and I've decided that I'm going to be creating a person like spiking a ball in basketball. Um, I had a couple other ideas here. Actually, let me show you them. So for that silhouette painting, uh, this was like my first idea, like someone on a guitar, kind of like, or like on stage with a guitar or something like that. Uh, I did it a couple times just to kind of figure it out, but um, I ended up deciding on something like this. Again, someone spiking a ball. I did do a few others I did with the guitar, but I decided on this sort of pose with the volleyball that you can also see that is... Um, positive space or I guess negative space uh, in this image uh, but I also tried a couple different silhou or not silhouettes con contour lines for these originally I want to do something like this where you can see a student like sitting in a class but I think I'm going to end up doing some sort of portrait that's a lot closer and like you can see their face because that's kind of my art style like not style necessarily but I normally choose to do port portraits so I think that's where I'm gonna go with those two pieces here I began the first piece, which I decided to do the contour drawing first, and I was using a reference here from Morgan Drinks Coffee, I think is what it is. Uh, I'll put a little image of it on the side uh, right here, and I ended up not really liking this first draft. Uh, I had practiced some contour drawings, but... Uh, I haven't really done any recently and so it didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it. Um, I think the main thing is that this, the face was like smushed. It kind of like got smushed together and then like, I don't know, tilted almost. So the eyes are obviously uneven and I did add a few like shadow, like I wanted to block in some shadowy areas and I think that looked good like the hand did. Um, but overall, I really wasn't liking it. So I moved on to a new piece where I started about in the same area and I was liking it a lot more even from the get-go. Um, I did have the reference like looking at it, so I wanted to make sure all of the, just the features laid out correctly. Uh, again, I added like zones of shadow. I didn't color them in because it's supposed to be like a contour line, but I did like outline where the shadow would be and where the highlights would be just to give it sort of like a dimension and to like really bring out some of the highlighted areas. Um, even though I didn't like one of them, I did sign them both and then moved on to my other illustration. Um, I debated what I wanted to do exactly for this. I had had the pose in mind for a while, um, but I was like, I was wondering what kind of mediums I would use and how it would just kind of lay out. In the end, with some help from my mom, uh, I decided to do a black piece of paper and do white acrylic paint on top of it. Uh, the first thing I did, of course, was sketch out this pose, this spiker who's about to like uh, spike this volleyball that's in front of them it's not like the left arm isn't actually spiking the ball but it's like the momentum building up to the spike that's the kind of like pose i wanted to um to try to convey in this image once i had sketched it all out i just got out some white acrylic paint and blocked in all of those areas uh, that I had outlined. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't like adding each individual piece separately. I wanted it to be one cohesive image 
I want it to be kind of like a flat wash of white, you could say. Um, I don't know if there's flat washes in acrylic. I don't know if that's really a thing, uh, but that's kind of what I was making it similar to, like in my head, like watercolor. Like it would be a flat watercolor wash, um, but with acrylic, obviously. Um, it didn't take very long to do, but I did end up having to use a couple of different brushes to get some of the details in, and I did go in with um, another coat just because it wasn't like super smooth and it was kind of patchy in some areas. After everything was kind of finalized um, and just all the final coat was put on, I realized it kind of looked bland. So I ended up deciding to add a bit of, you know, like variation in the background, um, just to add some interest and some more balance to this piece. So I ended up cutting off the edges of the black piece of paper and taping it on to a white background. Um, and I wanted to like put on these white stripes, but instead of just putting on the white stripes, I added some like texture in, in the background by placing, after I placed the black paper on top of the white, I added these triangles back on to the image to kind of give it, I don't know, it was almost like sym symmetry. Uh, so I think it looks really cool because it goes with the movement of the volleyball player. He is going up and to the right of the image and all those lines are pointing in that way. So I feel like it gives the piece a really good like movement and really good flow towards um, all of the edges. Overall, I liked both of these pieces a lot and I think I learned a little bit about getting out of my comfort zone with both of these pieces because they're something I normally wouldn't do. Guys, here are the two final products. Uh, I know that neither one of them took very long, so that's why I included them both uh, in this video. They were also both for the same kind of project, both for my Art One class. So I really hope you enjoyed seeing the process of both of these, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!